All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. So today is Wednesday, and that means they're using Cleebola. <laughs> yes, Cleese. This deck is good. <laughs> you know, there's 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 not much you can say about Cleese. You know, Cleese are probably gonna be probably remaining as the strongest pendulum deck for a cool minute. Like I I, I don't I, I right now any other pendulum deck that's trying to do anything pendulum related this doesn't seem like it's being even remotely close to uh the strength that cleaves are pulling off so yeah cleabolus <laughs> all right so we'll go ahead and just normal summon you equip you with the sacrifice cleabolus so i guess i'll go ahead and tell you guys about my tuesday like usual because you know cleaves and shadows are the days that i tell you about my my days of college because I only go to classes Tuesdays and Thursdays and I talk about the day previous so you know today's Wednesday I'll be talking about my Tuesday so Tuesday and of course and like every Tuesday and Thursday I have uh oh okay well that sucks <laughs> well there goes my fucking monster thank you fucking snatch deal are you busted damn straight you are <laughs> yeah, there is no oh cle ah oh, snatch deal's balanced like snatch deal's busted like even even now Oh, that's just inconvenient, like, hella, like, alright, thank you, thank you, number generator, and thank you, fucking Snatch Steel. Thank you, Konami, for unbanning Snatch Steel. You're a fucking idiot. Like, I swear to God, like, every single time I get Snatch Steeled, I'm just, or, or Snatch, Snatch, Stolen? Snatch. You know, every time I get Snatched, whatever the fucking word is, it's just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> no, that, that's, that, that's exactly how I feel. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what I want to do. Go ahead and activate the deal. You know, that guy had no remorse. He's just like, gimme. Like, alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to go ahead and get my snatch steal. Snatch steal my fucking monster back. Like, give it back. Ah, oh, it's okay. And I can pot. I don't want none of these cards to tell you the truth. Are you mocking me? Mocking you, of course. Oh. Constantly, perpetually. Uh, who would have thought they're getting snatch stolen? It would piss me off so much right now. Oh, I got Regeki. I can Regeki him and then get my fucking shit back. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. I'll go ahead and regek you. Like, fuck your snatch still. Give me my monster. Give me my sacrifice. Like. Yes. So, still. Oh, it's Shadals. Shadals versus Klees. I. Klees are a stronger deck. No. Klees are, are definitely a stronger deck. So, I'm trying to think what I want to do. Uh, who do I want? Who do I want? Who do I want? I'm not really worried about the back row, so. Yeah, another carrier is fine. Yeah. At least I shouldn't be worried about the back row unless he's playing a version of Cleese that I've never seen before. Cleese don't really play back row. I mean, Cleese Shadals don't really play back row. Besides, you know, the the occasional Sinister Shadow games. You know, maybe these are freaking, um, uh, oh, Shadal Fusions. There, there's not a lot of back row when it comes to Shadals. Never mind, I was incorrect. I was incorrect. He is apparently running some back row. Wasn't the best of plays because I will once again get my sacrifice. But I guess the biggest inconvenience of that is the fact that I kind of wanted that play. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of did. But never mind. I, I, I was incorrect. I was incorrect. I thought that there was no background in Shadals, but this person is apparently playing background. So, yeah, you saw that. Look at that. Snatch the Ankle Balls. Opening hand. 
That's it. This number generator is just like. Number generator, what's up? <sighs> Alright, let me guess. You're gonna send Squamata, then you're gonna send another Shadal, whatever. Then you're gonna have exactly three for that Dark Arm that you have in your hand because the number generator decided to give you that too. Like, am I correct? Am I fucking correct in my assumption? It's sad. This duel is fucking annoying because my opponent literally keeps on getting shit. If you have dark armed, I am literally gonna fucking eat a cat. I will eat a cat. I shit you not, I'll eat a cat. Like, come on. This number generator is ridiculous. I had to actually get my fucking deck down to fucking lower cards to fucking get a number generated card. Damn, he opened up with Compulsion Snatch Steel. Like, alright. What the fuck? I guess you're like, oh, we got anything else to play. I, I don't know. I don't know. Why'd you surrender? I do not know why. Alright, be right back. Alright, back. Going against Luna Knight. I believe that's the guy who I dueled against with Lunar. Because we were talking about his name being Lunar Knight. Alright, number generator gave me Killer and Snatch Steel. Okay. I opened up Snatch Steel. <laughs> The rest of the hand is not that good. Never mind, I got Summoner's Art. Never mind. Hand is fine. <laughs> Get that Summoner's Art. Never mind. Hand is fine. Still not, you know, blow everything away. This hand is fucking busted, but it's still okay. Hand is okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and summon you. Bottomless? Bottomless? No? Okay. I'll go ahead and equip my sacrifice. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and get started talking. So, uh, calculus. Calculus is. I don't like calculus 3. You know, you, know, you, talk, you may talk to some people. Oh, blah, blah, blah. All right, there, there's your number generated card. Unless. No. <laughs> I was about to say, unless you're running multiple glow up balls. I forgot. They didn't put glow up up any higher than one. I don't know why. You can only activate its effect once per duel, so. Konami, I don't know, you know. Instead, you're like, oh, let's unbend Snatch Steel. But Gold Bob's too busted to be at any higher than fucking one. Like, all right. Yeah, give me the care, because I can utilize that next turn for a killer. I know, he probably said, he saw that vanity. He's like, oh, shit, I'm going to vanity. He's like, no. The next turn, I can literally go activate, scout, search for Monolith, put in Monolith, Pendulum Summon you, tribute you and you, you. So... Well, that's fine. Wow, mail the MST. I bet you would really love that MST. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Fluffles. Should I skill drain you? I don't want to skill drain you, because I'm really looking forward to Snatch Steel. <sighs> oh, it's okay. I mean, I'm really looking forward to this towers, you know? If I was one turn faster, maybe we could talk, but... I mean, unless you go for one of your fusion monsters and completely wreck my shit. That kind of wrecks my shit. It's okay. Yeah, I'll play Skeleton right now. Because I'll go back up to my original attack, and then your beast will die. I didn't want to play Skill Drain. You made me play Skill Drain. I don't like you for that. <laughs> Get out of here. So Calculus, Calculus Three is just. I don't like it. I don't like it. The three D, the conceptual. It is just like, like oh my god. Like sometimes I just sit there and I just look at problems and I'm just like, <laughs> these problems. I must read them. So the thing is, right now, I could do some plays. I'm trying to think, I'm of course I'm gonna go ahead and search. 
I'll go ahead and pay my 800 and I will go ahead and search for uh, Moloth. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Monolith. Uh, Pendulum summon U2. <sighs> I'm only doing this just to make absolutely, completely sure that I'll be able to do this play. Then I'll tribute you, and then you will destroy Spell Trap. I'll have you destroy Skildren. Do I want to do that and draw a third card? I mean, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, that's fine. Carrier. Who's carrier? You could target a monster on the field and return it to hand. No, not carrier. Not carrier. Yes, Helix. Yes, sacrifice. Uh, I really don't care. Sure, give me stealth. Go. Activate towers. Give me something out of your hand, unless you don't have any monsters in your hand. All right. Get rid of your scissors. And now towers go ahead and poke you for three thousand. And I'm also unaffected by shit now because I got really skilled in. It was a risky play, I must say, that was a risky play that I did. But I think it was worth the push. Of course I'll activate Monolith. I'll draw three cards. Busted. Busted as fuck! <laughs> yeah, this duel is pretty on show. I can't remember. I think that I think Luna Knight was playing fun Funimals. Fun fun what are they called? Fright fur, funimals, fright fur. Guest toys? I, I don't know. Kinda of keeps changing the damn name. It's weird. Don't kill her. Unless you wanna get rid of that monster or you wanna get some nope, you got something in your hand. Alright, get rid of that get rid of Killer fucking crushes that pussy. <laughs> Did I really just say that? <laughs> uh you know what? I'm having fun. I'm having fun just beating the shit out of you with killer. I don't need anybody on the rest of this door. I'm just gonna build up resources and beat the shit out of you with killer. Eventually gonna run out of resources, you're eventually gonna run out of monsters to set. Like at this point, you're out. Like you draw a monster, you set it, I'm gonna get make you get rid of it. If you don't have a monster, and you should probably set it, because if you don't have a monster in your hand, when I activate it, I fact I get to look in your hand. So it's fellow trap set it, if it's a monster. Well then you're fucked anyway, so either way you're fucked. This duel is pretty much over. Okay. Uh, anyway, 3D, 3D calculus is just a pain in the dick, you know. So many different formulas, and it's it's not fun. It's not. It is. There is nothing fun about it. You know. Now we're doing like you know. Like ellipses and shit like that now. It's just like, yay! That's fun. <laughs> oh, your tour guide. Oh, what the fuck? Arion, what the fuck is he supposed to do? Hello? What was the point of that? Like, is that your sign that you're fucking giving up? Because I'm just gonna make you send it. Like, send your armory on. <laughs> I'm having fun just fucking with you. I don't need to overextend. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I like watching you squirm. I should, I should have upstarted you. So yeah, I should have snatched all your arm and arm and gave you more life points. I don't give a fuck. I win. Please, Klebolas. The deck, this deck is just, oh my god. Send it. Oh, and then you drew another tour guide. Dead. All right, we'll get one more duel. One more duel in this video while I finish talking. All right, we're back. All right, last duel with Klebola for this video. Then I'll finish talking. Wow, once again, opened up really broken. Like, fucking busted as fuck. Opened up so busty in this deck. 
Like so busty. I'm glad I have to read Summoner's Art. I uh, would search for Monolith, but I can always search for Monolith whatever. I'm going to search for another Scout, just to be careful. Because Scout, you need Scout. Scout is this deck. So, Pot, reveal me a monster. Reveal me a monster. And I will take that monster, because uh, I can just go ahead and equip that monster with Sacrifice. So, normal summon. Clip you with Sacrifice, open up with Snatch Steel again. From getting Snatch Steel in first duel, to open up with Snatch Steel the next two duels. Fucking busted. This card is busted. Like, especially on here on number generators. It's super busted, because you're going to be seeing it. <laughs> you're going to like it when you get Snatch Steel. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, and I play hidden, hidden armor in this deck, so I can keep on getting my Snatch Steels. Over and over and over again, like literally, snatch steel plus my three head and everything. Gets, I can play snatch steel four times in this duel, okay. as long as I don't activate hidden armory and mill a hidden armory. <sighs> anyway, uh, yep, we're just doing 3D shapes and it's fun, you know, the lip weights and all that good shit. Oh, this duel's gonna go fucking slow as balls. Uh... <sighs> Thinking about searching. Uh... Gotta have Monolith. Yeah. I could have Killer. I'm... If I would have searched Monolith with that, I could have Killer because I just search, summon, search. Yeah. No. Would I have killed? No. I think I still have to wait a turn. Man, I'm not doing much right now. Who's that Pokemon? It's Shadow Mist! Okay. I wonder how Dark Law interacts. Like, if you snatch still Dark Law, does it, does it flip around and affect your opponent? I have no idea. That is a good question. Well, the hand said another Vanities, because I've got another fucking Vanities. It's like it's ridiculous. You want to mass change in a Dion, the problem is I got to, you got to destroy me. Alright, there's a lot You got to mass change in Dion, but then once again, the problem is... You have to destroy my battle. I'm going to make you use more resources. Like, uh, right now I don't really give a shit. Or they turn Dion, Dion, but if you want to match change, I at least want to pull you, pull more out of you. Yeah, that's what I thought. When it's left by the field, after that, if it's if it left the field by this effect, then you special. So you you pretty much just tribute your monster. That's fucked up. You know, Dion wouldn't have done shit. You have to show me a battle to search and. I can't control my battle because sacrifice unless you had something else up your sleeve. And, uh, yeah. So, screw it. Let me finish this talking. Let me finish talking. So, we're on these 3D shapes, you know, the, uh, the ellipsoids and spheres, you know. You know? Remember ellipses and hyperbolas in 2D? You remember that? Algebra 2, fun shit. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Put that in 3D. Like, oh my god. It, it, you know. And she's like, oh, you, you graph this, and you graph that, and you graph this, and then they all combine into this one shape. Like, no, 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 no. This looks like a fucking, fucking graphite fucking mess on my paper. Like, next class, bring in co fucking color pencils. Like, one will get one color, one will get the other, one will get the other. Because literally, it just looks like a fucking graphite mess. But yeah, totally fun. No. It's easier than, you know, what we were doing before, where it was like, oh, oh it's a, when it forms a line and it intersects with the point plane, and then you find the distance of the angle form, but, like, that section was just, ugh, like, oh my god, like, that section is just, oh, no, 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 no. So, at least we're down to the next section. So, that homework is due Tuesday, and I was already working on homework. I finished, I finished that, uh, was it, 9.5, the one with all the angles and the planes and stuff like that. Finished the majority of it. So then I started on the the ellipsoid hyperboloid homework. You know, the first couple of problems were nice. They were like, hey, look, these are the equations and here are some graphs. You know, just 
you know, uh, multiple choice them. Just, you know, put the right answer with them. Like, oh, yay. And then the next one's like, yeah, I'll graph them. Like, god damn it. God damn it, man. <laughs> so, you know, that was fun. Those aren't fun. So, in algebra class, uh, it was review day. Review, because there's an algebra test on a Thursday. So, yay. No. So, he put up a review online, and he's pretty much just going over problems uh, for the test, pretty much. Just going over problems. Uh, I really wasn't paying attention, because I got this. But uh, the test is this Thursday, so you didn't have to show up. He wasn't taking attendance. He usually takes attendance. You get points for your attendance. Uh, he didn't take attendance today. So literally, I just sat in class and just worked on my calculus homework. Chill. Whatever. So uh, class ends, and there's this one girl, this one girl that I recognized. <laughs> and I, you know, I know, Daniel, you, 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 Daniel, you're like, you say that you're done, give up, and then you go, I, I, I can't talk to a female, like, you know, I'm not chasing out her. I'm like, I'm, I'm not like, hey, you want to be my girlfriend? 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 I can still talk to girls. The point is, I recognize this girl. So, I I, I, I never noticed, because this girl is super short. Like, short. Like, I don't even think she's, no, she's not even five feet tall. Like, short. <laughs> yeah? I'm like, constantly looking down at her. She's so short. Uh, but, I recognized her. You know? So I go up and start talking to her, and she's like, yeah, you look familiar, too. So she's, like, naming off classes, and I'm, like, naming off classes, like, you know what, I think I reckon, I think I know what it is. Uh, History 101 with Hollis. She's like, yeah, that's where it was. So, you know, we start talking, and uh, I walk her to her next class, you know. Seems chill. She's pretty, uh, but I'm not going to try after her, you know. Saying that uh, <laughs> uh, pretty much this is her last semester, and she's uh, leaving state. She doesn't, she's, she doesn't want to be in Vegas anymore. So, you know, that wouldn't even work out. Because I'm not planning on leaving Vegas. So, you know, it's just like, even if I wanted to go ahead and chase after her, it's like, she's, she's not. I, I don't like that. Because there's some girls I've talked to who just straight up just like, you know, full on like, fuck Vegas. Fuck this place. I hate this place. And it's just like, ow, ow. You know, I, I like it here in Vegas. Like, it's too fucking hot. Well, I'd rather it be hot than cold. You know, like, you know, it's winter time right now. It's winter time. You know what? How, you know what temperature it is in Vegas? It's like 70 plus. Winter, 70 plus. Yeah, it's hot ass winter. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, I just kind of like, I don't like when people do that, you know? I mean, are you entitled to your opinion? But I just don't like it when you just kind of like, uh, no, fuck Vegas. You know, I like Vegas. So, you know, if you don't want to be here, then of course you, you can't. You can't. And that's one of my pet peeves. You can't be going around saying fuck Vegas and you're and you hell, hell bent on leaving because, you know, I like being here. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's how that is. So, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Is there anything else? Oh, I went to the writing center, because I have to. I had to go to the writing center to, uh, check over my project that I had to do for, um, one of my friends for my education class, because if you don't get your work checked at the writing center, you lose 50% of your grade. So I really went there, I just handed my paper, and he's like, he was just like, oh, that's fine, 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 fine. So I really just needed proof that I went there. Yeah, it wasn't a lot for him to the guy to grade, and it wasn't a lot for me to do. So, there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and scan the paper as proof that I went to the writing center and just turn that shit in. Yep. So, that's pretty much it. So, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this video. Like I said, Snatch Deal, still broken. First deal, I got Snatch Stolen. Second deal, I didn't use Snatch Deal. Third deal, I didn't use Snatch Deal. It, it, it's still broke. But, God, it's, you know, Snatch Deal. What's wrong? You should be banned. If you if Snatch Deal doesn't get rebanned in in April, I my jaw will drop. What is it, February? All right. Well, of course, I always do my banless predictions a month ahead. So March, I'll go ahead and do my banless prediction for, in March, March first. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, of Daily Rules. I don't even know what to call this episode. I'll figure something out. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys um, tomorrow with uh, Burning Abyss. Uh, you know, burn, the Burning Best deck, it topped, that used three match change seconds, and ch match change in the do fucking Dark Law. Told if people were telling me that wouldn't fucking work, it topped. I knew that shit was gonna work. Like, fucking Dark Law. Utilize it and fucking, you know. So that's what we're gonna be using tomorrow. We're gonna be fucking you match changing it up. You know, try the ritual deck, that shit didn't work. You know, now the code didn't, no, 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 no. We're gonna go ahead and match change second it up. We're gonna go ahead and turn our fucking Burning Abyss into Dark Law and fuck our opponent, you know. My opponent over here tried to fucking dark wall me, but it's already too late. <laughs> All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I. I'm, oh my God, did I just say Batman Y? Hello, Daily Duels.
So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with Burning Abyss. Thanks for watching.